Welcome to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber Exchange, the TV show, is brought to you by Bank Hometown, our sponsor. And really, it's a conversation about uh, economic development jobs and, and things that are happening here in central Massachusetts that are important to our regional economy. And I'm very happy to have with us on our first segment, Dr. David Jordan, who is the former CEO of the Seven Hills Foundation, Thank you, Tim. led and transformed that organization for 28 years. Yeah. Uh, and congratulations on your, your recent uh, retirement, but you're still, uh, I, I think, uh, emeritus uh, a role. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you've yeah. taken a, a role at Clark University. Yes, Tim. Uh, um, bit of a, a, a surprise, but a, a welcome one. I'm, I'm now the uh, interim dean of the School of Management. Um, uh, two weeks after retirement, uh, <laughs> President uh, Fithian, David Fithian, a uh, wonderful man, uh, and Provost Sebastian Roy who contacted me and um, sort of presented a challenge because I had been teaching at Clark for as an adjunct for uh, 18 years. Right, right. And there was a transition going on within the School of Management, and uh, President Fithian and Sebastian Roy asked me to step in as, uh, as interim dean. Um, and if again, I've, I've said in the past, if it had been any other organization or any right. other group of leaders, uh, I probably would have said uh, thanks, but no thanks. Right. But because of its Clark University and uh, my love of the students and my admiration of the um, uh, David Fithian and uh, Sebastian Roy, I, I, I couldn't say no. And say yeah. Yes. Well, I want to get into into the uh, the School of Management because people may not necessarily know that 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 school exists within the Clark University kind of uh, mm -hmm. infrastructure and hierarchy. And, uh, but before we do, just, you know, transformed an organization, uh, Seven Hills, incredibly important mm -hmm. uh, organization here, not just in Central Mass, but you're, you're throughout New England. We're uh, not only throughout New England, but we're in eight developing countries. Right. Yeah. So we yeah. we have a global footprint and serve uh, uh, probably 30,000 people in developing nations ar around the globe. So we have medical clinics and schools and microfinancing programs and um, food programs for children. We're, we're building two schools right now, one in uh, Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, and another in uh, Sierra Leone. Yeah. So uh, Seven Hills Foundation employs about 5,000 people. Right, and right. So it began all right here in Worcester. Right, right. Well, now to the new role after your two-week uh, <laughs> two week, right. uh, two break. But uh, the, the, the School of Management at Clark University, it's, it's undergrad, graduate. Just maybe you could give the viewers a little bit of background on sure. the school. Um, school of Management serves both undergraduate as well as graduate programs. Um, we support uh, young people who are interested in the world of, of business and entrepreneurship. Um, in a variety of capacities, and we have a number of, of uh, graduate level programs as well, from accounting to business analytics to marketing analytics and uh, a variety of other programs, finance, et cetera. And that's important because a lot of people might associate Clark with you know, liberal, liberal, liberal arts yeah. programs and things, but, but this, this is a specific area that's very much you know, in, in, intertwined with kind of the business community yeah. in a variety of different ways, and you've got a new kind of brand and theme, right? Yeah, you bet. Um, Yes, the School of Management at Clark has been there uh, for over 40 years. So we're not a new entity, mm -hmm. but you're correct. We, we are embedded within uh, an institution long known as a, as a liberal arts um, uh, university. Uh, but it, quite frankly, it fits perfectly well because there are a number of young people at Clark interested in, upon graduation, moving into some form of business, starting their own businesses perhaps, uh, in all fields, and um, taking class coursework and classes in uh, basic entrepreneurship or business management becomes a, a compelling part of that liberal arts education. And um, we've been training and teaching business uh, leaders uh, th from throughout the world over the past 40 years. So it's it's an important and integral part of the ethos of of. Who Clark University is. In your vision, I, the, the the new brand or theme is that we re we reimagine the future of business. And yeah. if you're you know business out there, uh, and when we had a chance to, to talk and meet when you took over the role, but um, 
there are opportunities for businesses out there to, you know, who may not, they're focused on delivering a good or service or making a product. Right. Uh, th this value added that these students can come and bring or teams of students on projects or working with the company, and that's something you really want to emphasize and get out there. You bet. One of the uh, tremendous benefits that I think um, uh, Clark's School of Management offers to the community, to the, to the state, um, is the ability of bringing incredibly bright, uh, I mean brilliant um, business students into uh, businesses as interns, um, as short-term uh, project-based uh, consultants, um, and generally for free. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got some of the brightest minds of uh, young people coming from throughout the world in business analytics, data analytics, uh, finance, economics, uh, marketing, uh, accounting, etc. that can augment and support all of the businesses as right. part of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, and the benefit is that it's uh, a shared value. Right. Uh, the student benefits from getting real world experience and businesses benefit from getting the latest cutting edge um, uh, trained um, scholars in uh, the use of a variety of business skills and in, in, in acumen, uh, including a lot of STEM technology. Yeah, and we're excited about you know being able to really kind of uh, incubate and grow this yeah. idea with yeah. our member businesses because the single biggest issue that we hear for them is access to talent uh, right. and and you know our colleges and universities play a huge are a huge plus in that regard and yeah. it's about utilizing it and the other element is the students get, get credit for this uh, in, in many instances. Absolutely. We have, uh, again, students from all over the world coming to Clark School of Management, and all of them bring um, skill sets that are just quite remarkable. Um, and they are looking for internships. They want to engage right. and participate with, with businesses and, quite frankly, learn from uh, the leaders among chamber business uh, owners, um, the real world aspects of what happens within a business. On the other hand, um, securing uh, talent, particularly around some technical is issues of, of uh, either accounting or business analytics, data analytics, um, is not inexpensive. And mm -hmm. our students can bring those to businesses for little or no cost. Um, so it's a, again, it's a, it's a quid pro quo. Our yeah. students benefit, businesses benefit. And one of the things that we say to our member businesses and to the business community at large, you know, as our job is to kind of listen and advocate as chamber member businesses, but it's also let them know where there are resources and really encourage and push them to utilize this. And so, you know, for many companies, having students do an internship or project-based uh, initiative is also almost like an opportunity to, to do a job interview. You bet. And we know that many of those students, you know, with the data shows that where students do internships, have part-time jobs, right. they're more likely to stay after graduation. So it's also benefits our economy writ large. Yeah, it's a great feeder into um, into jobs that are that are required, demanded by business, and we have the resources. Uh, through these really talented students who come to us with, uh, I think, and I'm biased of course, Clark's uh, School of Management really um, speaks not only the language of business, hard business skills, really hard business skills, technical skills, um, but part of our reimagining the future of business is making certain that our students graduate with a knowledge that they're part of the larger world. Yeah. And business is a key contributor to addressing um, societal issues. Right, uh, right. Climate change, uh, education, poverty, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So we just have uh, just a, a, a few seconds, maybe half a minute left. Mm -hmm. If there's a business out there, or organization that's interested in accessing, learning more, how do they get in touch? Where do they go? If there's someone out there, hey, I'm interested in that program, how do they get in touch? Sure, just contact us at um, uh, Clark University School of Management. Um, uh, we'll respond immediately. Uh, we can send uh, some of our staff out to businesses or have businesses come in and, and match uh, their needs with the ability of our students to, to deliver. So clarku.edu backslash SOM. Got it.
David Jordan, a former CEO of Seven Hills Foundation, but now uh, interim dean of the School of Management at Clark University. Thanks for being with us. Great. Thank you so much, Look Tim. Look forward to the partnership. Really appreciate it. Good stuff. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.